Hello, dear students. I'm really happy to work with you today. The topic of the lesson is beautiful game. Project the history of sport. For the lesson, you'll need a course book. Prepare for the seventh grade, a notebook, and a pen. Open the book on page 63. In today's lesson, we will deepen our knowledge of the topic sports. Discover unusual sports. Improve listening comprehension skills. And learn to create projects about the history of sports. And to start our lesson, please, give the answers to these questions. Do you do any sports? Which ones? What's your favorite sport? Do you want to try any new activity sports? Do you think that team sports are better than individual sports? Why? Why not? As for me, I'm really into sport, especially cycling. I enjoy riding my bike in the beautiful countryside. But I would also like to try other sports. For example, skiing. In my opinion, it is one of the most exciting winter sports. To tell the truth, I prefer team sports. When I do a team sport, I am more motivated. Look at the photos and say, which sports are popular in Ukraine? I'm sure you recognized all of them. Among the most popular sports in Ukraine are, basketball, ice skating, football, ice hockey, athletics and boxing. What other sports can you add to the list? Look at the photos of famous sports people from Ukraine. Your task is to match each person with the sport they are known for. Take your time. Read each name carefully. And try to think about which sport each person plays. Let's check your answers. Alina Svitolna is a professional tennis player. Andriy Shevchenko is a retired football player and one of Ukraine's most legendary athletes. Lilia Podkopeyeva is a retired gymnast who won Olympic gold medals for Ukraine. Serhiy Bubka is a retired Ukrainian pole vaulter, widely regarded as one of the greatest athletes in the history of the sport. The Klitschko brothers are former heavyweight boxing champions. Oksana Bayul is a former Ukrainian figure skater who won the Olympic gold medal in 1994. Do you know other famous sports people of Ukraine? What sport do they play? What are their achievements? Look at these photos. What unusual sports do you know? Can you guess the names of these sports? Listen to the recording and write out the names of these sports. Track 83 Hey guys, how are you doing today? Guess what I've just learned? What is it? I was doing some research and I found out that there are some new games that we could try doing. Really? Like what? Well, I heard about this one called floorball. It's like a combination of hockey and football. You shoot a ball with a stick and move it along to kick a goal. This sport appeared in the late 1960s. That sounds interesting. What else? There's also a hobby horsing. It was introduced in 2017 and is becoming popular among teens. It's like a mixture of riding a horse and show jumping, but uh, there is no horse. How is it possible? It is called hobby horsing. There must be a horse. They do all the tricks with a wooden toy horse instead of a real horse. That sounds a bit strange. What else do you have on the list? There is a game called Sipak Takrov. It's similar to volleyball and football, but instead of using hands, players use their feet, knees, chest and head to touch the ball. 
When did people start playing it? The modern version was introduced in 1960. As for me, all the games sound quite interesting. Are they popular around the world? Floorball, which I've mentioned first, is very popular in Central and Northern Europe. Hobby horsing is also gaining its popularity in Europe, especially in Finland. They even have national competitions for it. Guys, I don't fancy hobby horsing as it sounds childish. You've mentioned one more game. What was that? Sipakta Krav, which is popular in Asia, particularly in Thailand. Wow! Floorball and Sepak. Uh, something. Sounds really cool. So, what makes them different from the games we usually play? Well, both games require a lot of coordination. They also require more focus since the ball moves much faster than a regular volleyball or hockey puck. What is more, you don't need a lot of space or equipment to play, so they're great for smaller areas. That sounds like fun! Are they hard to learn? Not really. If you practice a lot with a ball and sticks, you can take them up pretty quickly. Well, that sounds like something we should try. Ah, definitely. Let's all give Floorball and Sepak Takro a go. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. The first photo shows floorball. In the second photo, you can see CPAC Takra. And the third one is a sport called hobby horsing. Look at the table about unusual sports. Try to complete the gaps. Listen to the recording and check your answers. Complete the gaps with the information you didn't know. Track 83 Hey guys, how are you doing today? Guess what I've just learned? What is it? I was doing some research and I found out that there are some new games that we could try doing. Really? Like what? Well, I heard about this one called floorball. It's like a combination of hockey and football. You shoot a ball with a stick and move it along to kick a goal. This sport appeared in the late 1960s. That sounds interesting. What else? There's also a hobby horsing. It was introduced in 2017 and is becoming popular among teens. It's like a mixture of riding a horse and show jumping, but uh, there is no horse. How is it possible? It is called hobby horsing. There must be a horse. They do all the tricks with a wooden toy horse instead of a real horse. That sounds a bit strange. What else do you have on the list? There is a game called Sipak Takrov. It's similar to volleyball and football, but instead of using hands, players use their feet, knees, chest and head to touch the ball. When did people start playing it? The modern version was introduced in 1960. As for me, all the games sound quite interesting. Are they popular around the world? Floorball, which I've mentioned first, is very popular in Central and Northern Europe. Hobby horsing is also gaining its popularity in Europe, especially in Finland. They even have national competitions for it. Guys, I don't fancy hobby horsing as it sounds childish. You've mentioned one more game. What was that? Sipak Takrav, which is popular in Asia, particularly in Thailand. Wow! Floorball and Sepak. Uh, something. Sounds really cool. So, what makes them different from the games we usually play? Well, both games require a lot of coordination. They also require more focus since the ball moves much faster than a regular volleyball or hockey puck. What is more, you don't need a lot of space or equipment to play, so they're great for smaller areas. That sounds like fun! Are they hard to learn? Not really. If you practice a lot with a ball and sticks, you can take them up pretty quickly. 
Well, that sounds like something we should try. Ah, definitely. Let's all give Florbol and Sepak Takro a go. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Let's check your answers. 1. Hobby horsing was first played in 2017. 2. Floorball is a combination of hockey and football. 3. Hobby horsing is a combination of riding a horse and show jumping. 4. CPAC Takra is a combination of volleyball and football. 5. People most play floorball in Central and Northern Europe. 6. People play hobby horsing in Europe, especially in Finland. 7. Sepak Takra is played in Asia, particularly in Thailand. 8. The speakers are going to try floorball. Your next task is to answer the questions about unusual kinds of sport. Rewind the lesson if you need to listen to the recording one more time. Write down your answers in the copybook. 1. How do you play floorball? 2. What do participants use in hobby horsing instead of a real horse? 3. Can participants use their hands to touch the ball in CPAC TACRA? 4. What is similar between floorball and CPAC TACRA? 5. Why are these sports good for smaller areas? Now students, you can check your answers. When you play floorball, you shoot a ball with a stick and move it along to kick a goal. In hobby horsing participants do all the tricks with a wooden toy horse instead of a real horse. In CPAC TACRA, participants can't use their hands to touch the ball. They can use their feet, knees, chest, and head. Both floorball and CPAC TACRA require a lot of coordination and more focus. These sports are good for smaller areas because to play them, you don't need a lot of space or equipment. And which of these sports would you like to try? All right, everyone. You've worked hard today, and now it's time to relax. We're going to watch a video with some physical training exercises. Find some space in the room where you can move around comfortably. As you watch, I want you to follow along and repeat the movements. Let's use this time to unwind and recharge our bodies. Get ready to stretch, move, and feel refreshed. Great job! I hope you are ready to continue. Let's revise the basic tips when working on a project. First pick up a topic and plan out your project. Do the research and write down some ideas for your project. While working follow the plan of your project. Make sure you cover all the plan points. Make your presentation short and easy to follow. Write key information on the slides so that others can read and listen at the same time. Finally, add bright photos to make your project more interesting. And now your task is to prepare a project on the history of a sport. First find out about the history of a sport popular in Ukraine. 
Make a poster to present the information to the class. Use pictures and photos to make the poster more interesting. Include information about When and where the sport started Who plays the sport, only men, only women, or both Add information about famous teams or players Find out what tournaments there are for this sport Finally, present your poster to the class But before you start, look at the example poster about the history of tennis. Analyze it. What is wrong with this poster? Did the author cover all the plan points? What mistake did the author make? I'm sure you noticed that in this poster, there is no information about famous teams or players. Now, take a look at the poster about floorball history. It tells us where and when floorball began. It also shares who plays floorball and talks about a famous player. Plus, it mentions tournaments for this sport. So, we can say this project deserves the top grade and can be a great example for you. Our lesson is coming to an end. Now, let's answer these questions. What was the most interesting sport you learned about today? Do you think learning about unusual sports like hobby horsing and CPAC TACRA can inspire us to try new things? How do you think learning about the history of different sports can help us understand our own culture better? What do you think makes a sport cool or interesting to learn about? Can you think of any similarities or differences between the sports we discussed today and the ones you play or watch regularly? Today's lesson was all about sports history, and we had a blast. We talked about the sports we love in Ukraine and learned about some cool ones like floorball, hobby horsing, and CPAC TACRA. We even practiced making posters about sports history. Your homework is to prepare a poster. You can choose any sport you like and show off what you've learned. Whether you're drawing pictures or writing facts, let your creativity shine.